I'm Rudy and I'm a consultant and also a lecturer and my public is uh, our managers or leaders. Uh, I'm lecturing on the topic of organizational development, human resources or self-managing teams. And uh, in the discussions about self-managing teams, uh, the people are often uh, skeptical and they have a top three of, uh, of arguments against uh, uh, that system. Uh, first of all, there are people who are working here for 30 years and um, they are not fond of changes at all. Um, they, they say uh, self-managing teams is a hype and in five years from now on there is another hype. Uh, so they don't like to change. No. And the second uh, one is, um, uh, well, some people um, don't like self-managing teams because they uh, are, are like more instructions. Uh, they, they need another kind of leadership and uh, they are not into self-guidance or responsibility. Just tell them what to do and they will do it. And uh, just, so in fact self-managing teams is not for everybody the right uh, way of uh, organizing labor. And a third one is uh, quite a strange uh, question I often uh, have been asked. Um, is it not possible that uh, some people genetically in, in their mind have, don't have the competence or the capacity to guide themselves. They, you have to guide them because uh, they, they, they are not able to. And uh, so there are arguments against self-managing teams if you, you think about it. But uh, I want to uh, uh, witness uh, something out of my work when I'm working in organizations with teams or leaders. And um, that the point is that when I'm working with people, um, I'm asking questions, I'm coaching, I'm facilitating a group uh, conversation. And then, uh, of course, people have all kinds of feelings and thoughts and, and, and ideas. But um, uh, we are just doing the development and, and it becomes a life. Uh, we don't think about it theoretically, but we just do uh, organizational development right away in how we coach or how we dialogue. Uh, with each other. So the, the major point is that uh, if you as a manager you are too much in your head and finding solutions or a vision on what has to be done and then implementing a system that's not really what has to be done at this moment in organizations. We need leaders and managers who can uh, show as a practice of dialoguing, of reflecting, asking questions, doing research together and uh, in doing that practice, uh, you, ha you are doing a walk the talk of new kind of uh, organization in which uh, people are alive and, and, and let it flow, let it flow, all those thoughts and, and ideas and, and resistance and feelings and, and just let it, let it come alive. That's, that's my point. Go out of your head and uh, become more a little bit like a coach or a facilitator or or, or just somebody who, who likes to go into dialogue with people. Yes, on the level of equality. That's what we need. And that will make us, our organizations, more alive. Yes, that, that's what I like to do.